Hello friends, I am Kushal Gisharma and you are watching my YouTube channel Old Tech Gyan and uh, today I am going to show you my first Android project and uh, I will show you the coding which I have done actually uh, means uh, I have released my uh, pro first app by using this coding and uh, obviously I just changed the my classes name, any objects name and any a personal identifier which I used in my project so I changed all these uh, things because of security reason otherwise the concept the ma logic methods or else all are same I have just changed uh, uh, identifiers okay so let's begin uh, uh, I hope uh, you will like this I am sharing my experience with you so let's begin so uh, first of all I have created an empty project and uh, uh, then I started coding so first of all let's look into the uh, manifest file so first of all in the manifest file as you can see uh, there is uh, path of my project package uh, means as you can see in the java file there is a uh, com.1.2 package this is a dummy name which I have given because I have to show this uh, video to in the on the YouTube. So I have given the dummy names here. So as you can see, this is my project hierarchy uh, for the Java classes. So it is my uh, I have mentioned there. Then uh, my app is uh, based on the internet. So I have to provide the user access. You uh, means uh, I have to provide the intent access to the user. So I have defined the permission here. I have defined the network. Uh, this is also for the internet access. Uh, and this one is for the showing ads. So uh, remember, according to the, your use and your application, you have to give the permission uh, in the manifest file. This is mandatory. So these three permission I have given okay let's move uh, move further this is the very important part application where you define the or global values uh, which are related to your application so uh, there are some uh, these uh, as you can see uh, these are already in uh, defined by the android you we have to just define our metadata this metadata is used if you are going to show your show your ads into your application then this two line is very important you can find this on google also you when you create your account on adsense they will give you this id so as you can see uh, uh, this is the name of that api which is google provided and uh, this is the my id and I have encrypted my ID. Uh, I have actually you have to provide your actual application ID here. Uh, Google will provide you that, so no need to worry about that. Uh, now let's move further. Uh, here are the uh, five cl classes which I have used into my project. So uh, of, of course I have renamed this uh, file for for showing demo on youtube so these are files which i have registered i have provided the sensor according to the uh, position of the device so that is why i have given the sensor it means if you are mobile uh, in the horizontal position then my app will go automatically go in horizontal position if it is vertical then it will automatically go in the vertical so okay and these uh, these two intent filter this is to, uh, this is also important this provide the uh, uh, this is used for launching your application so you have to use this also okay the, uh, that's all in the android manifest file uh, the content of this file may vary according to your application according to your use okay now uh, the second important uh, file which is uh, active main.xml here again i have renamed some objects some folder for the security purpose so as you can see first i have defined the relative layout in the relative layout uh, 
I have uh, defined the first I have to, I have defined the ad ad advertisement uh, which is in the banner format and uh, here I have to give my ad unit ID which I have encrypted here but uh, when you go live then you have to give your actual unit ID and uh, while doing testing Google provide a unit ID for testing so you have to use that unit ID please remember that because if you use actual unit ID of your application then because of uh, uh, regular hitting on that unit ID Google may ban your uh, unit ID if you keep testing with the actual ID so keep in mind always test with the test uh, unit ID which Google provides us it provide uh, providers according to your format uh, means if you are showing in the banner format the unit ID is different if you are uh, showing ad in the full screen then unit ID is different you can easily find that in the, on the Google sense uh, they all they have provided the very good the document on this so you can get the unit ID from there and uh, uh, then I have set the relative again I have set the relative layout uh, where uh, I have provided the header uh, as you can see in my header learn leap and lead okay so uh, move further uh, I have provided my uh, header in the text view then I have created a linear layout in which my main content is present uh, as you can see it uh, there are five buttons which is actual link to my the my videos collection uh, if you click on the button you will go to my video collection means my video tutorials so I have created a button for every uh, playlist or every two video collection so uh, I, if in the future if I want, I want to add some playlist then I have to add the, a button in this my app so uh, in the linear layout I have uh, defined this button the advantage of the linear uh, layout is that that uh, I, I need not to worry about the uh, position or the uh, structure of the uh, buttons in the screen automatically arrange it is automatically get arranged into the correct position because it is linear layout so they will automatically uh, go in the sequence that is why I use linear layout here so here it is a thing since it is my first project so you might uh, say that this is not a, a very good way to write uh, coding or to make a GUI but uh, this is my first first project so uh, I was not fully aware, aware about the Android and its uh, uh, logic so uh, my according to my knowledge I have prepared this and uh, I will try to optimize this in the future but uh, till now I have met this and it is successfully running on the Play Store mm, the, up till now there is no crashing uh, but uh, I, I agree that there may be there is a possibility of optimizing this uh, project but since this is my first project so please pardon me and please suggest me any uh, optimization you think in uh, then you can comment that into the comment section okay so as you can see I have defined all the button uh, and uh, a respective name I have defined a uh, subscribe button here okay so now this is uh, the uh, main active um, XML file activity dot XML file now we go to the Java file main activity dot Java file here I also modified some object name and because I have to show the demo so as you can see I have uh, I used the on click uh, listener for the uh, uh, triggering uh, as a triggering point so as you can see uh, 
there is this is used this code is for the advertisement you can find it on google uh, google will provide you how to implement the advertisement and uh, as you can see uh, this is this is my code uh, uh, up to up till now this all this for ad advertisement this is for i have actually i have uh, i have two uh, i have put the two advertisement unit in this uh, application one is banner and one is full screen so this is for banner and uh, this is for full screen as you can see uh, this is uh, the test unit id which i use to test uh, my application this is that unit test id which is provided by google you can search it on google so up till now it is for advertisement now as you can see i have uh, fetch the values of each button which i have provided in the xml file uh, of course i have modified all the buttons name actually it is different uh, then i have uh, then i have created of uh, six objects and on all six object i am calling one intent and which is going for to another class and there my uh, video is loading so as you can see this is my sharing button from here i am sharing my link of my application so i have used this uh, this button for this i am redirecting uh, the share button to my google, google play link of my app okay then this is the so this is my subscription button i am um, redirecting user to the uh, my youtube uh, youtube subscribe channels home page okay after that i am on each and every button i am calling one java class where the actual code is written uh, this code is for advertisement to load the advertisement and by using its intent i am calling the java class and where i am ex executing the actual method so as you can see there are five buttons all this is third this is fourth and this is fifth so on each button i am calling advertisement and one intent which is redirecting it to the another class so let's take example of this class one as you can see in the one dot java there is not much logic uh, i am just uh, redirecting my uh, this to my youtube channel and their video is playing so this uh, this uh, since this is my first project so i am not aware about much coding so what i have done i have just uh, redirecting my application to do my youtube channel because on the youtube channel i have made my tutorials and and i have just given the playlist in this uh, application so uh, for what i have i have done i have created an web view and uh, that web view is uh, redirecting my application to the youtube channel here i have created my web view and uh, uh, i am just using that web, web view in the uh, java classes and redirecting the my app to the youtube so there is not much uh, complex logic in my this my project but, uh, but sometimes simple thing is uh, good uh, because uh, according to your use you you have to do coding so this is working well for me for now so uh, now as you can uh, as you can see uh, you have seen the actual logic of my project i am uh, loading the url of my youtube channel by using web view okay because web, uh, web view is the best way to represent the uh, uh, any website in our uh, project so uh, there may be some more optimization but uh, i have implemented this one and uh, this uh, I, when you go into the in uh, resources there is a uh, my in string 
I have defined my project name the I have given the demo name here uh, but you should give your actual name here and uh, that's it I have not used much logic uh, much complex logic in this application and uh, in the bread uh, these are two important things which uh, you should consider when you uh, make a signed APK uh, at every version you have to change this uh, these two things uh, as you can see in the version name I have defined 4 and in the version code I have defined 5 so this is just just for my application it is, depends on your version your application uh, because uh, the same version cannot be placed in into the play store every time you update the your app in the play store you have to change it the you have to change both entries version code and version name okay so here you have to define all dependencies so and uh, okay friends that's all from my side uh, please comment uh, if anything uh, you what you give you, you want to give me any advice or any improvisation i can do then please suggest okay and please subscribe my channel thank you